Sup guys, let me show you how to create this GoPro animation quick and easy and let's get started. So I have this 3D model, you may have seen this in my previous video and uh, let's start animating this. So I'm gonna set up my scene first. Let's add in a camera here and I'm gonna bring it back along the Y axis just like that. Go to the camera view and turn off these things from here. Then I'm gonna go to the camera settings and turn up the pass part out. Now let's go to the camera settings and make the focal length to something like 85. Right, let's create Y axis. I'm gonna bring it up just like that. And then let's go to the material preview right there. First, I'm gonna add a controller for the camera so that I can animate it easily. So, right, let's add in an empty. We're gonna get a cube. Now first select the camera, then select the cube and hit control P, keep transform. Now we have this controller for the camera which we can scale and rotate or move to move the camera. Now, the first shot I want is from this area right here. So let's focus it on that and right here. Hit double R, I'm gonna hit S. I'm gonna insert location, rotation and scale. Let's go to frame number 15, our Z axis. I'm gonna rotate it randomly just like that and grab it, scale it down. That's how it's gonna be. I'm then gonna insert location, rotation and scale again. Now, if you look at that, this is how it looks like. Not that good, but yeah, we're gonna fix it. So if I bring it back a little bit, can see this is how it looks now first let's move it to the center of the object right there and let's bring it right here i'm gonna insert location rotation and scale again now let's play that yeah that's good now right here i'm going to insert another location rotation and scale then what we're gonna do is get these two keyframes and offset them right there to the 15 so the first one is on 15 and we're gonna move the second one right there to the 80 or something now if you look at this shot you can see we got this smooth animation going on here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add my come out to this go to the asset browser i'm gonna get one from here which will be the this one would be fine now i'm gonna hit r z r x 90 negative 90 let's position that oh let's place the cursor here and shift S selection to cursor. Let's move it, scale it down. That's it. Now, let's go to timeline and see where should we put this. So, RZ90, but I'm gonna move it right here. Now, let's add in the copy rotation and select our MT that is controlling the camera. Now, I'm just gonna apply this constraint R double Z, R double Y, 90, and there we go. I'm just gonna change the font real quick from geometry nodes. Here we go. Font and I'm gonna choose a... Let's go with this one. Let's go to timeline. In there, I'm gonna choose an animation type. So turn on more types. And I'm gonna go for 9 or something. Which one do I like here? Let's play it and see how this looks like. No, this is not what I want. Let's go to 10th. Oh, I like this one. So let's animate that now. I'm gonna go to this frame right here. Bring that animate all button to zero. Insert a keyframe. Now on the frame 25 or 30, let's bring it up just like that. And yeah, let's duplicate the 30 frame. Bring it right here to the 80. And I'm gonna duplicate my first frame and bring it right there to 110 or something. Now if you play this, I think it's very fast so let's move this keyframe away a little bit bring this back right here go to type number nine let's play that yeah that's good too come right here to the make object glow select that object and bring up the color to i don't know we're gonna we're gonna choose a white one right there today let's turn on the scene world so that we can see stuff make it cycles tpu compute yeah let's make this 100 we don't need much Let's make this 102. That's our animation for the shot one. Now we're gonna start the next shot from right here. So you can see the shot uh, stops right there. Now here on 115, I'm gonna move the camera. So let's uh, focus on the next object, our Z axis. Let's hit double R and I'm gonna focus to something like that. Now hit I and insert location, rotation and scale. And that's really it. Bring it back to 112 in the location, rotation and scale. Bring these two forward a little bit and select the second keyframe. Bring it back right there to 200. So that we get that smooth motion going on. Right. 
let's so the call out right here can be disappeared a little bit faster because we don't want to make it boring so that's it now it disappears and then the next shot let's use another call out so if you put it just like that that's okay now let's select the make object glow I'm gonna choose this one and the glow color is blue right here you can see so you can change it to whatever color you want but I'm gonna choose a white color let's see how this looks like I haven't done any lighting here yet but that's gonna look pretty good after lighting the background color I'm gonna make it white as well now let's animate this call out so when it comes right here let's insert a keyframe make it zero first insert a keyframe on 140 I'm gonna bring it up to 1, insert that again, let's duplicate that, let's duplicate the first one, let's play that. Right, now you can jump to the next shot. So let's make it something like 300. And yeah, that's gonna be the last shot I'm gonna make. Camera controller, I'm gonna rotate it on the z-axis. Let's insert location, rotation, and scale. Bring it back to 212 or something. Insert location, rotation, and scale again. Let's bring these keyframes right there to 215. Select the second one. Move it back to 300. And there you go. Your shot is already done. Right. Now, we need a color for that one too. So, we can get that one. Now this one works with the UVs, you can just set up the UVs and add your image in here, go to the shading, right? You have the material which is called texture, so if you select texture here and then find that, you have the mapping options right here. It always works because it's controlled with the UVs, so you have your own UVs already there. You can go to UV editing and edit that. Now if I animate that, this is how it looks like, but you have all these more types right there, so if you choose that, you can see we have got a fluid kind of animation. Let's try animate with that. We're gonna change it if you didn't like it. Right there, let's make it zero. Is a keyframe and then go to the 240. Bring it up just like that. Is that a keyframe? Duplicate that. Duplicate the first one. There we go. We've got all the three shots ready. Now if I didn't like this animation, I can just change it to 10. And this is how the tent looks like. Now you can change that call out to whatever you want. I'm gonna make it a little bit interesting by hitting tab. Let's select this edge right there. Shift E to make it a little bit sci-fi, you know. And uh, I can also add more things to that. Let's make the background a little bit interesting. Make it green, whatever you like. We have the endpoint color and make that green as well. That's it. This one right there, let's bring the stroke color to something like blue. Let's make the glow color blue as well. Let's go back, select that one, make the glow color something like greenish. Let's do some lighting. I'm gonna go to the rendered view, turn off the scene world. But I need a little bit of HDRI effect here, so let's go to world and select our HDRI and make the strength to something like 0.3. Let's add in a few lights to the scene and make it look good. So let's get in, go to the render properties. What is that? Yeah, and go to film transparent. Now let's add in some light. I'm gonna add in a big light right there for the background area, area light, scale it up. Bring up the power to 700 rx 90 d y axis rotate just like that scale it up i'm gonna hit shift d alt r and bring it up to the top and let's let's get one more light for the edge right there scale it down let's bring down the power for those now let's render that i'm gonna do just a little bit of compositing here let's add in an alpha over node bring that down to the second slot and make it black or you can make it a little bit grayish just like that this looks good too add in a color balance node bring this down a little bit bring that one to blue bring that up a little bit but what else can we add all right yeah glare which looks very good here with the color emissions right there let's make it simple star or fog glow yeah that looks good so that's it this is how the render looks 
And if you want to see how your animation will look like after rendering, then you can easily preview that by going to the material right here and then go to view, repo, render animation. This will render a preview of your animation so that you can see the speed of the whole thing and adjust it. Let's preview it, control F11, and that's how it's gonna look like. You can see this is the preview of the animation and yeah, all right. The camera motions are so good in here and it is a very simple effect that you can achieve in no time. If you want to make your text animation easy and also support this channel, you can buy a textifier from the link in the description. And let me know if you'd like me to make more short videos like that. So yeah, that was it for today and I'll see you in the next one.